You're not gonna have a quick drink. You don't need liquid courage to do your job. Hey everyone, it's Plumu here, and welcome back to my channel for another episode of Right Designs. In the last episode, Frankie just kind of had a Frankster day. It was her day off, so she went to the library. She made herself a dating profile to see, you know, if she could find somebody that she really connected with. And she thought she connected with this woman called Maisie Miller, who was running around in her cap and gown. She must have just graduated from high school, which makes me feel a little bit weird. <laughs> Um, but when Frankie went to ask if she could sketch her nude because, you know, Frankie was feeling a little bit frisky, Maisie flipped out on her. So that didn't work out. Frankie decided to take herself to a bar. That didn't work out either. So I played Sunday off camera, had Frankie do a little digging at the junkyard, and now it is Monday morning, so we are back to Frankie's working day. So she is just going to get ready. It is 6 o'clock in the morning. She is stinky from digging in the junkyard all night. Um, but while she was digging, she actually salvaged a few things. So I think I'm going to have Frankie um, rep not repurpose them, repurpose them, resalvage them. Um, they're in her family inventory, or they were in her family inventory. Uh, maybe they're not in her family inventory. I thought they were. Let's see. Are they in her actual inventory? I don't know where they were, but she salvaged. She had salvaged a dryer and a sofa, and now they're gone. So I'm confused. So maybe that didn't work out. Um, but she also worked on her inventing skill. So she is actually at level three of inventing, which is good. And it looks like Jody here is doing a little cleanup around the house. And while I was watching what was going on between Jody and Rebecca, they're actually quite flirty. So I don't know if Jody here is a little bit of a playa playa because he was really attracted to Frankie at one point. But him and Rebecca were tossing flowers back and forth to each other. So I don't know what is going on. And Jody seems to be quite the sketcher as well. So, yeah, we'll just have to see what happens with that. But I really wanted Frankie to kind of find somebody to get in a relationship with that wasn't one of her roommates. Because that just seems sort of typical, if you know what I mean. So Frankie is all dressed and ready to go for work. She looks super duper cute. I am still loving her work outfit. Hopefully there are some good jobs available. Hopefully the one that we commissioned from Maisie Miller is still available and you know she can go see Maisie and maybe try to get things better because I feel like Frankie is really digging Maisie she's really pretty she is in a relationship with a dude called Cornell um but you know things happen oh they're best friends now they're not only friends they're best friends now but the whole problem is that Maisie doesn't like to be nude, and I feel like Frankie's a bit of a free spirit where she doesn't mind being nude. Um, so we'll just have to see how that relationship pans out, but we're going to get the mail because we've got some mail here. I'm going to help Frankster out, and we are going to um, recycle that for her. Before she starts her day, she's going to get the mail. Let's see what is the happenance with that. Maybe, you know, she's got a love letter or something. And also, duh, I don't know if you guys have noticed, but it is actually... Um, um, winter now so it's the it's that most wonderful time of year the winter festival is here the hot chocolate is flowing and the fire logs are glowing and everyone's spreading the cheer whether you skate or you shred don't fall on your head you can always improve for next year so it means the um Winter Festival is coming to town. But let's see what Frankie has in the mail. Ooh, she's got a painting studio to do. This didn't come in the mail. Um, but she's got a, a painting studio that she can do. That's the available work. And Frankie just got a gift in the mail from Imogen. All right. We just found out that Imogen had popped out another child. When Frankie happened to cross her in the last part in the bar, she was back to her short skirts, big boots. And um, the note attached to it reads, I was thinking about you and thought you might like this. Call me. I don't know what to say about this. We're trying to avoid Imogen Pelly. <laughs> oh, look at all the jobs we've got. So we could come across here to... We've already done a painting studio for the parrot. We're not doing that. Uh, a teenage sanctuary for, oh, this is Kinji's house. And then is this, oh, that's a gym addition. Who lives here? Right, I think we might come over here and do a teenage sanctuary, even though I didn't see any teenagers. But who who lives here? Who wants a gym addition? 
I feel like this is a house we haven't visited, so maybe we'll come over here and do a gym edition. But then we haven't vis visited the Kinji household. The ki it's not the Kinji household, it's just Kinji that lives here. We might do a teenage sanctuary. Let's speak to the client about the renovation. Right, so this is Zach Whipsnake. It seems like yesterday my baby came home from the hospital. Now my precious baby is a whiny teenager. We're going to need some new things for my teen to complain about besides life not being fair. So the room needs a dresser, a single or a double bed, a computer, rugs, and a sculpture. The budget is 3,000 simoleons and the base fee is 292 simoleons. So I reckon Frankie could take this on because she hasn't visited this house before, so it's something new. I have no idea what happened to Maisie Miller's um, entertainment space, but we're going to go ahead and we are going to visit the lot. So once Frankie arrives, then I will catch you guys there. So it didn't take Frankie long to get here. Um, it's Kinji Midden or Madden with Trey Shepard, and I'm pretty Shepard, and I'm pretty sure we're doing a renovation for somebody called Whip Snake or Wick Snake. Um, so this is like a really blended family. I don't know what's going on, but we are going to um, visit the household. Maybe he'll invite us in, and we can. Oh, perfect! And there's hearts. Of course there's hearts. Why wouldn't there be hearts? It's Frankie. I appreciate Sims who take it upon themselves to learn a new craft. Let's get to know each other better. Um, he's a workaholic. He's handy. He's a perfectionist. Let's... There we go again with this weird little layout. I don't like this house, but it's a big house. Um, let's take measurements. So go inside. Frankie's going to take some measurements, and there is a baby on the floor, and he's just set a toddler out on the deck when it's snowing. Oh, this is going to be a big old freaking mess. But we haven't been to this house yet. And it's a four bedroom house. It's a pretty massive house. So this is exciting. So maybe we'll do this room. Although it looks like this could be a teenage sanctuary already. This could be a teenage sanctuary already. I feel like it just needs some freshening up. This house is so big. Why are you coming in here? We're not turning one of these into a teenage sanctuary. I really want to pick up this child. Can she pick up the child? Right, you're not... You're not going to have a quick drink. You don't need liquid courage to do your job. Kenji just gives no craps. He's going to leave all the children inside. Um, while Frankie takes on this renovation. And we're going to scope out which of the four bedrooms we're going to turn into a teenage sanctuary. We could do this room. We could do that room. I don't really want to mess with rooms that have terrariums in them. And probably one of the first things that I'm going to do is I'm going to put some cribs down. Because these children need cribs. I see no teenagers whatsoever in this house. I'm trying to figure out which room would be the best one to do um maybe this one this is a is a family that likes animals it's gonna say ants but there is an ant thing here so i think we are going to go ahead and do that one's not ugly though this room's really ugly this room is ugly as well, and I'm not a fan of birds, so we might get rid of the bird cage. So I think we're gonna do this room right here. Uh, so let's go.
think I've got everything in this room that I need and I really love how it turned out. So we've got mostly a blue and white room. There's some pops of lavender here and there. You can see it in the wallpaper here and on the rug there, but I really, really love this room. So hopefully Zach Whipsnake will like it too. So we're going to turn in the renovation and also, I don't know if you guys peeped it, I think I'm making up for last week's or the week before's episode uh, where I didn't give an extra crib when I did Imogen Pelly's uh, renovation, but I noticed two children running around in this, well not running around, one's a baby, one's a toddler, and they didn't have any cribs. So I put some cribs in for them and yeah, I'm happy with myself for that. I'm such a good designer. Let's see what Zach thinks of this. So our beautiful Frankster is giving Zach a call. She looks so pretty standing out in the snow. Good, thank goodness that Frank, that Franks, that Sims can't really feel the cold. I mean, I know they can because they get the wish to like warm up and things like that, but she would be burr frozen right now. But luckily there's nothing down here that's saying that she's cold. Hopefully Zach is going to get here post haste pronto because, you know, Otherwise, Frankie's just going to turn into an icicle, and we don't want her to fall over frozen. But I'm really happy with that room. I really hope he likes it. I used some of the things that Frankie had invented, which is supposed to boost your score, as well as using um, some paintings that she had painted. And here is Zach, uh, Whip Snake. He looks evil. <gasps> is he in the criminal career? Did he? I was going to say something else. Did he um, burglarize us? He looks like a burglar with those those dark eyes, that dark makeup around his eyes. Mmm. Mmm. Okay. Watch client evaluate renovation. I've never seen that before. How does he feel? How you feeling, Zach? Hmm? How you feeling, buddy? Oh. You know, for as much as Frankie gets along with children, she uh she doesn't really like the sound of crying babies. <laughs> At all. How you feeling, Zacky? I feel like you can get to everything. There's nothing clipping. You've got a double bed. Here we go. Let's find out how Frankie did. Overall, I think you did a good job. I wouldn't mind working with you again in the future. Thanks. Frankie earned 342 simoleons, including a 50 simoleon bonus. Now, I'm not too disheartened because somebody in the comments of one of my older videos said that you actually can't get a promotion and t or you can't get a great job until... Um, you reach level 10, which who at EA made the career this way? That just seems really flippin' silly. Um, because I think this bedroom is beautiful. I would have loved to have this as a teenager. Do I not get a chance to take a picture? I completed a teenage sanctuary. <laughs> no, I guess I don't get to take a picture of this. That's very strange, but at least she got a bonus. Um, this room is gorgeous. I don't know what he is talking about. Um, so Frankie wants to sketch, but we're still on the clock. So we are going to, should we come over here and do, I really, I don't understand why they want another painting studio. And I feel like we've got time to come over here to do a gym edition. And I don't know whose house this is. Let's find out. Let's speak to client about renovation. Oh, this is a new person. So this is Valerie Chandra. I put on a few pounds lately and I do not like the way my clothes are fitting. With my busy schedule, it's hard to find time to get to the gym. Please build me a workout room so I can get a jump start on fitness. This gym needs a stereo shower, a treadmill, a workout bench, and a rug. 4,800 simoleons is the budget and the base fee is two and nine to two. So Frankie's gonna go ahead and accept the job. I hope it's not gonna take her six hours to get over over here um, so we're going to visit the Chandra household okay, so I will meet you guys once we get over there so Frankie's made it to the Chandra household and I love this house look at how cute this house is you guys and the lights are already hanging up for the uh, winter fest that is coming this is a really super cute house hopefully somebody is home it doesn't look like it so we are going to just click on begin the renovation and then I'm gonna have to exit out of it in order to have Frankie take some measurements. Frank's gonna go in, she's gonna take some measurements. 
there's already a gym in here is there already a gym in this house there's like a gym area in the house where could we build this okay so mm -hmm. i think we might have to take up some of the back decking here and um build the gym off of here so i'm gonna have frankie um begin the rent oh did you not take measurements take measurements sweet pea come on do your job i don't know why she didn't continue taking renovations that's right there's a treadmill so we'll get rid of that one because she wants a new treadmill so i've accepted the assignment and we're going to begin the renovation on this lot. And I think I'm gonna have to build it right here. And we're gonna lose some decking, but I feel like that's totally okay. So without further ado, let's go. with this workout room I think it's really cute my only concern is that she won't be able to reach the shower but we're gonna have to wait and see what happens so we're gonna turn in the renovation I've got everything on the list and oh I went for sort of a pastel-y um, color scheme so hopefully Valerie Chandra likes it so we're gonna turn in the renovation Frank's given old Valerie a call and hopefully she will turn up soon we can turn this renovation in and she is on her way um, I really hope she likes it. I've done 
two renovations that I'm actually really proud of this time. I really like how this turned out. I'm really, really happy. So if Valerie could just, you know, get here quickly, then we can wrap up this episode of Right Designs where I did not one but two renovations. Frankie is on it like a car bonnet. Come on, Valerie. Today, Gina. Here she is. Lady in red. That is some outfit, sweetheart. She's checking things out. Hopefully she likes it. I don't know where she's going next. Um, but maybe outside. I really hope she's not going to check out the treadmill outside. Oh. I don't know how this is going to go. I'm scared. Ah! We got a promotion. Oh my goodness. Congratulations. Frankie has been conferred the new title of furniture fashionista by the Appaloosa Plains Town Council in recognition of her valuable contributions to the workforce. Think about who you are as a designer and how to best express that in a way that will satisfy your clients tastes and needs. This isn't about just getting pages in your portfolio. It's about crafting interiors. Sims the world over will recognize and adore. Frankie now makes 800 simoleons per week and works 8 a.m. to 6 p.m. Oh my goodness, I'm so excited. Let's see what Valerie had to say. Overall, I think you did a good job. Zach is such a good cook. That kitchen is perfect. Um, what? Also, I love all those special decorative objects you used. You got the job done. Thank you, Frankie. You earned 342 simoleons, including a 50 simoleon bonus. Let's just forget about the fact that Valerie's lost her gourd and forgot that she commissioned a gym, and now she's talking about some dude named Zach. We'll just forget about that. Frankie did a good job, so I'm happy with that. <laughs> yeah, buddy. Look at this scary face that Frankie's making. So excited. So flipping excited. So I think we are going to wrap up this part of Right Designs. Frankie's going to go and sketch something. She always seems to sketch something after she's um, finished working. But I think we're going to call it a day. I know we've only got, we've got an hour left in her workday, but that's not enough time to go take measurements and all that jazz. So if you enjoyed this part of Right Designs, make sure to do all those cool interweb things. Like, comment, and subscribe. Make sure you've got that bell ding dong so you'll be notified whenever I do upload. But for now, I'm going to skeet, skeet, skedaddle. Don't be a pump stranger now, guys. Bye!